This Japanese widow prays for her husband and has already booked her place to join him in their common grave. So far, so normal. However, there are some 6,000 others who will one day share the same headstone. The names in red indicate those who have reserved their spot in this communal tomb. The idea that is catching on in Japan is to reduce costs and share the burden of tending to the dead. There is no downside. If you can't make a visit, it isn't a problem. Sometimes I can't get here for a while. I feel a bit guilty, but I'm always reassured when I get here because there are lots of flowers and light. In Japan, keeping the ancestral tomb in order has for generations been a duty. But today, more and more people want to spare their children from the responsibility of looking after a grave. Families are not the same anymore, and sometimes it's impossible for people to be buried in traditional family tombs. So we thought we needed to create a system more in tune with how people live today. For example, for single people or people without children. Matsushima's temple isn't the only place offering this kind of service. At this seminar in Tokyo, people can meet others interested in sharing a tomb, who at the same time they're given options of how they want to be treated after death. My husband and I want to be entirely taken care of in the afterlife. As soon as we heard of this idea, we chose to have our ashes buried under some trees that the temple has pledged to maintain forever. A quarter of Japan's citizens are 65 or older, and that coupled with one of the lowest birth rates in the world, mean that more and more people are taking care of their destinies in the here and now.